Hello guys, Kadoji here. Sorry I have been posting a review or video for like one month and two weeks. I was very busy. I moved to another location. So you see the new white table I bought for myself, which I will do my reviews on. Because I like a white table better than the, the brown one I always used, or the red one. And I had some computer problems as well, but those are solved. And I don't have another busy schedule now, so I will be posting weekly videos for you guys. And today I'm going to review my 007 Sword Gunner Master Grade. I already built it, I think, two or three months ago. But I'm going to finally review it now. So let's start with that. So this is a 00 model actually, without the weapons. And it's similar to the 00 Riser without the weapons, except these blue pieces here. Double Riser doesn't have these blue pieces because in this version, Double Seven Sword Gun, you can actually mount the knives on those. So that's pretty cool. So now let's take a look at articulation. So let's take a look at the head. So the head can go up and down like this. And I won't rotate it because I accidentally broke something in the neck of the condom. And I'm afraid if I rotate it, it will snap off again. So I'm not going to do that. Still pretty a bummer, but okay. Then you have these gen drives over here. And I didn't actually know what they were for until I watched the anime some episodes and looked it up. They're actually for extra more speed and power. And those gen drives can go up like this. Down like this. And they can rotate to the front. Which gives this pretty cool pose. And they can also rotate to the back. And I must say from this Gundam, the parts that you actually snap together are pretty loose. So sometimes, like you saw with the gen drive, it will come off. I don't think it will be a much a problem if you just want to pose it. But if you want to review it and you want to like rotate everything, it will sometimes come off because they're pretty loose. So now let's uh, rotate them to the back and the other gen drive as well. So it looks really pretty cool and it's actually for more speed. So let's put it back in normal mode again. Then we have the shoulders. They can rotate a bit or go up and down like this a bit. Nothing too spectacular. Then you have the arm. It can rotate all the way 360. And it can bend all the way like this. So it's pretty far. And again, these arms are pretty loose as well, so if I pull gently on it like this, it will come off very easily. Let's put it back. Then we have the hands. The hand can actually rotate 360 as well. Like this. And these three fingers here are connected to each other, and they can go up and down. Then you have an individually jointed finger here, that can move as well. And of course an individually jointed thumb, which can move also. Then we have the waist, and it can actually rotate 360. So that is pretty cool. All the way like this. Then we have the side skirts, and they go up and down like this. And as you can see you have a hole here, and you actually can mount some of the weapons in that, so it's really cool. And then the legs are very flexible, and they can go all the way 180 up like this so it's really cool and they can go forward all the way like this but then the skirt just uh, enables it from moving any further then we have the foot it can rotate 360 then the front of the foot can individually bend like this and the heel is just firm so it can't move at all and it can go side to side like this which is pretty far so for articulation it was that. And what the Gundam also can do, which, is, which I think is really cool, stand on one leg. So we're going to do that now. So I'll post in a sort of karate kick like this. Then I feel if it gets balanced. A bit like this. And it stands on one leg. Which I think is pretty impressive. Because not all Gundams can stand on one leg. Sometimes... Uh, other Gundams are too heavy or have too much armor on them. So it did a really good job on balancing with this Gundam. And it actually can even do a high kick all the way up like this. And it will still stand, so that's really cool. 
so no and sometimes as i said the parts will fall off a bit but that's okay so now let's take a look at the weapons actually so let's go through that so now let's take a look at the gm2 sword short version it's actually a shorter version of the gm2 sword and the gm2 sword is very very much longer so it's a short version i really like the overall look of the sword it's pretty unique I especially like the green effect part over here that runs through the sword a bit and it's really cool so now let's equip it on to the hand and it should actually snap on very easily so I'm gonna open the hand and you have a bag in this hand over here and you have actually two holes here so I'm gonna pick you can actually pick either one of them I'm gonna go with the bottom one and equip it on the Gundam and as you can see it snaps on very very easily so it's really cool and what it also can do is actually transform into a mini gun so we're gonna do that so the handle comes off like this and the blue part like this very simple and then you have a mini gun so we're gonna equip that as well onto the pack in the hand again so it will snap on very easily like this and you have the mini gun which is really cool and it's pretty sturdy as well so if i rock the gundam a lot it won't come loose or come falling off and of course you can really do cool poses with it as well and it can also be mounted on the one of the waist plates so we're gonna make it into a sword again and over here you have this peg which comes into the hole on this so let's equip that just press and it's actually equipped so i must say that looks really cool so now let's take a look at the gm2 sword so the longer version of it and the longer version is very much longer like this it's i think the length of my hand so it's really cool and you can also equip it and you won't have any weight issues because it's not too heavy for the Gundam so it's pretty cool again you have two holes I'm going to choose the bottom one again so press and it fits and ho oh, the arms can fall off again because the Gundam is pretty loose so I'm going to put it no put it back like this so and this is how it looks with the GN sword and if you rock a bit it will come crashing down a bit eventually but if you just pose it there won't be any weight issues it's not too heavy for the Gundam so it's really cool and again you can actually transform it into a big gun so you do actually the same as the GN2 sword version the short version actually so you put it like this then you actually equip it again so just press so the hand came loose it again okay and it doesn't have any weight issues as well it's not too heavy for the gunner except if you rock it like this it will come falling down a bit so actually if you pose like this it won't come falling down so it's really cool and the GN2 sword can actually also be mounted on the other waist plate so I'm going to transform it into a sword again like this then this peg goes into the hole on the other waist plate so over here so let's put it in and then press like this so now you have two the both the gm swords equipped and i must say that looks really cool and pretty beautiful as well so now i think i'm hitting the 10 minute mark so i'm gonna call this part one and i will see you guys next time in part two